If you are a new Makoti or you are planning on being one, this video is going to give you some helpful tips on how you can survive your Makoti journey. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Zintle, also known as Sipahle, and this is my contribution to society. I am going to share with you some helpful tips that I picked up in my very short stint as a Tosa Magodi. So these tips are just things that I have found useful or things that I wish that I would have thought of before I found myself in some sticky situations. So I'm imparting my knowledge onto you. So let's get into the video. Guys, if you see water running down my face, it is because it's literally 100 degrees. So I'm going to try um, keep myself together. But you might see some, you know, sweat drops dripping down my face. But anyway, let's move on to the first tip. So the first tip that I really want to share with you guys is that... The clothes that you're planning to wear after you take off your Magoti clothes, make sure that you put that money away, even as part of your wedding budget, okay? So don't sit around and, you know, just relax because the three months or six months or however long that you are expected to wear your Magoti clothes, I'm telling you now, you will blink your eyes and the day will come when you'll have to change out of your Magoti clothes. And by that time, you have to basically replace your whole wardrobe. So for those of you who are not South African or who are not Tosa, what normally happens is when you um, go through any kind of like transition, um, transition phase. So when you are introduced or socialized from being a boy to a man, or when you are being socialized from being um, a girl to a wife, um you are most of the time you're expected to not wear the clothes that you were wearing before okay so you're expected to be a new person a new being so you're expected to have like a whole new wardrobe so a lot of us find ourselves in a situation where we have to buy a completely new wardrobe okay? and you know the affordability zeto are very different there are those people who can you know start a wardrobe from scratch in one month or in one day but for the majority of people i'm sure you have to collect your clothes over a specified amount of time so this is why i'm saying that as part of your wedding budgeting you should budget also for the clothes that you are going to wear at the end of your makoti journey because first of all you don't know how long you are going to be expected to wear your clothes, okay? They do not tell you upfront or on the day that they dress you. They don't say, okay, this is for two months. This is for three months. This is for six months. Um, they sort of just play it by ear, but they will tell you and say, okay, you are nearing the end of your new bride stage. So you must... Um, so you need to collect some clothes so that you can have clothes to change into after you've gone through this whole journey. So my tip for you is to save money up front. So when you're planning um, all your wedding stuff and your Makoti stuff, make sure that you put away some of that budget so that you are going to have some outfits when you even change out of these clothes. And some of those outfits, maybe I'll talk about this in another video. Let me know down in the comment section below sort of like what's next what do you wear next but um some of the time you're expected to um get some clothes sewn um some of the time you are expected to buy some clothes or wear like normal clothes it all just depends on the household that you are married into so just make sure that you always have money stashed away somewhere so that if you need to get you know some dresses sewn or if you need to uh, get some clothing items if you need to buy some clothing items chill. i don't know how i'm gonna finish this video <laughs> i don't know how i'm gonna finish this video because it is hot okay so please don't mind me i'm gonna keep you know just trying to wipe these sweat drops away but if you do see them, I'm so sorry. 
so yeah just make sure that you are ready and you keep money and don't make the mistake please do not buy the clothes up front okay don't buy them um when you are getting married or don't buy them the day that you get your makoti clothes um put on you because a lot can happen in three months okay or six months okay because it might happen that by the time that you um take your makoti dress off it might happen that you're pregnant okay it might happen that by that time um and you might gain a few pounds you know what i'm saying you might gain a few kgs right so you don't want to be stuck with all of these clothes um that are not going to fit you and also you might have bought the wrong the wrong stuff like i said they will guide you your in-laws will guide you as to how you will get dressed next or how you must look like next so if you now have bought all of these clothes up front without knowing what you're supposed to be dressed like or um wearing then it's a complete waste of money so yeah I said a lot in that segment, but basically get your life in order, okay? Make sure you have a budget for clothes that you are going to change into after. So my second tip has more to do with when you are going to attend events or imitrimbi where you will be expected to work, okay? So this is a tip that I got from Sis TK and Sis Maya. Shout out to you guys. Um, and it is that you should as far as possible try to bring things from home okay so my in-laws when i go there they normally have everything just ready and set out they have um all the knives and the fight books and all of that stuff but you know it's not like that everywhere you go so you need to make sure that you always have a knife you know um i'm actually planning on having like a little pouch sewn for me or to buy a little sling bag where i can just slip all of these things in but you always need to make sure you have a knife and a peeler because obviously a lot of the cooking that you know wives do or makotis do when they go you know help out at other places is they cook you know peel veggies cook so make sure that you've got a knife and a peeler either in your pocket you know or have like a little sling bag that is going to house these things make sure you always have a swab you know so you never know if you're gonna wash or dry um the dishes um but one thing is for sure you will always need to fight do where you will always need a swab so rather just bring those with you um and try to make your life as easy as possible okay so if you have advanced to the level where you have been entrusted to prepare the meat <laughs> at your in-laws um or prepare salads or whatever make sure that if you like your meat with paprika bring paprika from home one thing about going to an event paprika is the last thing on people's mind okay so if you are the type of person who likes to bring color to the meat and all of that stuff make sure that you always have you know some paprika with you or or you can store it in the car i feel like it's a lot easier when you have a car so that you can store like paprika all the spices that you like you can store um storage containers there's always an abundance of food whenever you go and help out at these places so in order for you to have like the ease i've found myself in a, in very sticky situations where i've had to bring um home food well not had to where if i where i've wanted to bring home food for my husband because obviously i'm not gonna cook at eight o'clock at night um i've wanted to bring home food for my husband and i didn't have a tupperware or some kind of container to put the food in right so i've been in that situation i you know i know now that when i go somewhere i need to bring a tupperware or i need to bring something with me so that i can bring um food home or yeah yeah if that is an acceptable thing that is done there i can bring food home or um to eat later or just to have just to have it it's better to just have the things than to not have the things right so always bring things that are going to make your life easier okay 
if you are the type of person who hates chopping onions okay then if at home you use those onion chop ooh. if at home you use those onion choppers where you put the onion in and then you go and it's chopped bring that with you so that you don't have to be crying the whole day because you are chopping onions right so try to make your life easier try to make your life as comfortable as possible and just make sure that you're organized and you're bringing things that are going to help you perform your duty thirdly because you are new it means you are young okay doesn't matter if you're 60 years old doesn't matter if you're 100 years old but once you get initiated as a makoti it means that you are young okay that's how you count who's younger or who's older in the kitchen gang okay so if you are the youngest makoti it means that you were the last one to get initiated into the kitchen right so as the last one or the most recent one to get initiated into the kitchen or the squad it means that you are going to be expected to do things that you might not necessarily want to do some of the time okay so you need to bring a positive attitude and a willing attitude to do whatever is there for you to do okay you're not gonna immediately jump to you know cooking the meat so you need to bring that willing spirit to do anything and everything that you probably don't want to do so for me like that one thing is chopping cabbage like i hate uh, i hate chopping cabbage as such i don't even buy cabbage at home because i know that there's a lot of arm strength that needs to go into chopping cabbage okay but somehow or somewhere somehow i always end up being the one to chop the cabbage because and you know we run out of little things to do so when you're done doing all your little duties then you're gonna need to chop the cabbage so you're gonna need to if you're someone who's got like a bad attitude or a negative spirit then you are going to need to leave that at home because you might be asked to do um to help out with something that maybe you think you're not good at or something that you absolutely hate doing but one thing about that thing it needs to be done and is okay okay so yeah one thing about elo capetro it needs to buy and and you need to be okay with that you know it will it, it's just a whole lot easier for you if you just don't have a bad attitude about everything okay um it's just easy it makes things easier and it just yeah don't fight it don't fight it because one thing about you is only and that's that on that okay. next thing is actually something that um really helped me a lot okay so um in my family like the family that i was born into we don't really know these things okay we aren't very experienced when it comes to like makoti stuff and all of that stuff but one thing um that i heard through the grapevine um before i got to my makoti day is to bring impelezi okay somebody who is going to do things on your behalf so um before you get welcome and introduced into the family nobody's allowed to see you okay nobody's allowed to see you it might be different from family to family but i had to get there the night before and at night kumyama okay so i got there the night before kumyama and then when we got there the family served us dinner but the thing about that is that they can't come into the room where i am so i needed to have a person there to go and fetch our food from the kitchen bring us our food and then take our plates there and even in the morning to serve us breakfast um because they were serving breakfast in the morning so the person that i brought which is my friend ulusanda love her she was the one who was basically doing all the things that i was supposed to be doing before i was formally introduced as the person who was supposed to do those things um so yeah she was basically doing things on my behalf since i was supposed to be this little flower that nobody <laughs> could see so she was literally running around the night before and in the morning she ironed all my family's clothing the night before she ironed my clothes she ironed her clothes 
um all my family's clothing she ironed it the night before because i was not allowed to you know wander around the house so make sure that you bring someone who is going to be able to be um the person who's going to basically do your duties before your duties officially become your duties yeah so make sure it's someone and someone who um who's, who's going to to bring you a good reputation man you know Nisanda did such a good job um yeah i actually commend her because i actually think she worked more than i did <laughs> to be honest to be honest with you she did more than i actually did um so make sure that you bring someone like that umdo kutele or umdo who knows what she's doing okay and someone who's just you know a good vibe and a positive spirit okay and the last thing that i want to tell you guys is that umakoti makasoloko enazo is belit okay amakoti must always have safety pins because the dress that you wear like the attire that you wear requires safety pins there's no doubt about it literally everything or most things that you're going to have to wear require a safety pin and these fabrics that we wear okay are very they're very you know and it might happen that over time the safety pins that you had at the beginning might bend and do all sorts of weird things some of them get lost okay that's that's a real thing okay because you've got so much going on and so many moving parts it might happen that some of your safety pins might get lost okay so you need to always have additional or spare safety pins so that you're always covered sometimes you might have a shirt that is you know it doesn't sit the way that you thought it would sit so you'd need to maybe safety pin it here or something like that you always need a safety pin right so yeah as mako d you don't wear the same thing for the whole three to six months that you are going to be dressed like this your outfit or attire evolves quite a bit over that period of time so if you would like to see all the stages that i have gone through in my makoti attire go ahead and click on this video here next and i'll see you next week for another video thank you so much for watching guys bye